Now, once a vaccine is ready in the U.S., it will be critical to get it out as quickly as possible to as many people as possible. Jamie Leary live tonight in Vail on that story. Jamie, that's why today's test run was so important. Absolutely, Jim. And while Vail Health doesn't know exactly how many doses it will receive the first round, it will be responsible for distributing them to neighboring counties and smaller hospitals. That could happen as early as next week. This is one of eight distribution sites identified by the state. And today, in a box caked with dry ice, the mock vaccines made their way from DIA to ultra cold storage here. It may not look like much, but inside this cardboard box are 195 vials representing what would be the Pfizer vaccine. The biggest concern is definitely making sure that, especially the limited quantities that we're getting at the beginning, that uh, no vaccines go wasted. With assistance from the National Guard and an escort from State Patrol, it was a smooth ride to Vail Health. So when it comes in, we store it in the ultra cold freezer. If you're going to be using it, you need to thaw it. It's handled much the same way Vail Health handles other vaccines. The biggest difference? Definitely is cold. The ultra cold, minus 75 degrees Celsius. Vail Health has two ultra cold freezers. We have the capacity to store thousands of vaccines, more than what's needed here for our hospital. It's a very compact freezer. Uh, this one is one cubic foot. There are five doses in each vial, but before it's administered, it needs to be thawed. We'd move them to this refrigerator right next to it. And then in the refrigerator, once it's thawed, it's good for 120 hours or five days. The defrost process can take as little as 30 minutes. And then once we remove it from the refrigerator, then we can reconstitute it and it's good for six hours and ready for administration. We've been spending the last couple of months in anticipation of a vaccine coming, including making sure we had storage capability in our special freezers. Of course, today it's just saline solution, but when the vaccines come in, frontline staff and long-term care facilities will get them first. And Governor Polis' team was on hand today. They told us we expect or we can expect to hear from him later this week on the prioritization list, as well as exactly when we can expect our first round of vaccines. Live in Vail, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom.